Okay, now we're ready, Bradford. Berserkers, gatekeepers, chrysalids, elites, la da blah blah blah. We don't care. Commander, we can't afford to let this operation get away from Yeah, well everybody's fucking fired though, John. Everybody's fucking fired. Caparzo, you are out. Which means Dominic Toretto, you are out. Xander Cage, though, you are in. Because you have... I just want to double check here. Yes, you have tactical rigging, which is all we care about. I'd really love to get you saturation fire. Like, if we had six more ability points, I would definitely buy it. But has tactical rigging is good enough. What PCS have you got? Superior focus. You know what? We're getting rid of that. Let's put in superior speed instead. And we should be able to switch these out at will. Yes, we can. All right. So that's got you taken care of. I mean, we'll get back to gear in a minute. Who's your bro? Your bro is Mr. Turop. The Babylonian. All right, Turop. Any abilities that you can buy? But What's your combat sim? I don't want to swap it out for superior focus. You already have. You have advanced speed, which ain't quite as good, but is good enough. You're afraid of the Chosen? Shouldn't be a problem on this mission. We killed them all. You have 19 ability points, but you already have Saturation Fire, so you're raw. Okay, so Mr. Turop is actually good. He, the, the man is solid. He's a good contributor. Riddick is shaken. Riddick and Beardo are out. Groot is a solo, so he ain't going nowhere. Jackie D and the Binkster, are we going to take these two? I mean, they both have tactical rigging, and Jackie D is a dyed-in-the-wool killer. I mean, he's a confirmed button man working for the mob. Is there a next run, Pete? Yeah, the DLC for this comes out, I think, tomorrow. So next Monday, we'll be playing some of the new campaign. Next campaign's all sparks. Probably not. We're going to do the new content instead. We'll probably eventually get around to doing an all spark run, but I think we might do the new content on Legend instead. And then Iron Giant and Taylor Reese. They both have the key abilities. So which of you guys has Saturation Fire or can get it? You don't have it and can't get it. You could pick up Volatile Mix, but we don't really care because we don't need it. Binky, you have Saturation Fire, I believe, do you not? No, you do not, and you don't have enough ability points to get it. That's two people without Sat. We really need more people with Saturation Fire. If we have four guys with Saturation Fire, I'll be okay with it. You have it, correct? Okay, so you are built properly, and in fact, you have enough ability points to buy, like, Battle Lord if we want it. We kind of don't. Let's save those ability points and see if maybe there's a better candidate for them. Like, if we could get the Iron Giant, maybe? Iron Giant can't get Saturation Fire. He has every other ability that we might desire, however. All right, Iron Giant, you get a stay. We're going to switch your combat sim, though. Knock around, Reese. I'm less sold on Jackie D and the Binkster. Like, I'd really rather have somebody who has Saturation Fire. Two saturation fires doesn't feel like enough. Boilermaker is unbonded. I'm pretty sure Groot has saturation fire. Do you not, Groot? Uh, Groot doesn't have it either. All right, well, get the hell out of here then. Was it Boiler? Was Chris Varick the guy who had? Chris Varick, I'm pretty sure, has saturation fire. I don't want to upgrade his weapon. I don't want to look at his abilities. He also does not have saturation fire. Son of a bitch. We didn't get enough people who actually unlocked it. Well, you're fired. It would actually have to be the shroomster because he has it, right? He does. You know what? I'm taking Virgil Shroom Bream. I didn't think I would take him, but I'm hospital orderly. I think you have it too, right? Like these guys are going actually on the final mission. 
You don't necessarily have to go, because you don't have... Anybody who has Saturation Fire, then, is going to be our final candidate. Beardo, do you have it? Tell me you got the Saturation Fire. You don't. You at least unlocked it, but you, you don't have it. Well, get out of here. You're fired. Somebody else had it. I know we have one other person who has it. Chat, who's the other guy who has it? Is it Caparzo? Caparzo doesn't have tactical rigging, though. He does have... Can we buy him tactical rigging? No, because he didn't unlock it. I'm tempted to just go ahead and take Caparzo. You know what? Take Reflex. I'm, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to take Caparzo. We need more guys with Saturation Fire. I want an AP ammo-wielding Caparzo with our best execution weapon using Saturation Fire. So this is Caparzo's one bit, then. All right, so all utility items become available. All weapons become available. And we need to go into every soldier. Caparzo, you, you can come back in a minute. We got to go to every soldier who's not going on the mission. And if they have a PCS we want, we got to rip it out of their face. So what do you have? Superior will? What's in you right now, though? You have just plus one mobility? That's not so good. But it's still better than Will, so you get swapped that out. I'll get off my roster. Xander Cage? We can't take his out because he's busy. Riddick is shaken, but... We don't want Riddick on the mission. What we actually want is whatever his PCS is. What do you got in you right now? You also just have plus one mobility. Well, we can swap plus one mobility for plus one mobility... Knock around Reese has health. You know what? Health actually might be useful. Let's just give Caparzo plus one speed. It's... Oh, no amount... No amount of, like, modification and trickery here is going to make this final mission winnable for us, I don't think. Skirmishers are just too bad and Battle Lord is broken. So... First off, let's get rid of your... I want your loadout. Everybody goes back to default stock. Get rid of this and that. Everybody loses all of their stuff. But Caparzo, you get our best execution gun. Which should be... Well, we have one that has a superior repeater on it. You're not currently wielding it. I think Xander Cage has it. In which case, we're going to take it away from him. Nope, he doesn't have any gun. Who's got the good gun? You're not already wielding it, are you? No. There it is. Superior scope, expanded magazine, superior repeater. And if we can, we want to put a bigger... We would like to put a bigger magazine in this. We can do an advanced expanded magazine better. Because that ability takes a lot of ammo. Caparzo, AP rounds... He's set. Caparzo is ready. He's going to get sniped the first time we encounter the enemy. But he'll be ready for it when it happens. Advanced repeater, superior scope. That's a pretty solid execution weapon. We have two advanced repeaters, two superior scopes. This one has a bigger clip, so we should give that to somebody who has... You don't have Saturation Fire, do you? No. Okay, we're going to give the bigger clip one to somebody who has Saturation Fire. And Xander Cage, that means you don't get... You're going to take a Mimic Beacon, and we're going to give you Venom Rounds.
Two Rop, you have saturation fire, do you not? You do. Excellent. So, Two Rop gets our other execution bit. He gets advanced repeater. He gets AP rounds. What do we want to back that up with? There really is nothing useful for us to take here. I mean, we're going to take as many Mimic Beacons as we can. I wouldn't mind taking a Skull Jack for potential one-hit kills, but that's almost pointless. Let's give you a Med Kit, I guess. Shroom? You have no PCS, huh? That's unfortunate. Superior Hair Trigger, Superior Scope, Advanced Expanded Magazine. Basic repeater. Well, anything we can do to help us farm additional chances to execute, we will do. You take blue screen rounds and a mimic beacon. Now, you know what? As a scatter fire soldier, blue screen rounds are actually a bad pick for you. Let's give you dragon fire rounds instead. It's bonus damage. We do need one person who's equipped to deal with robots. We need a robot hunter who's toting around some blue screens. Superior hair trigger, superior scope. This is our blue screen round, man. That's Taylor Knockaround Reese. Wait, Knockaround, are you also a spray man? Can you spray and pray? He got the spray and he got the praying. So then who's our, it's BFG who's our last guy that doesn't have saturation fire though. Right? Yeah. So you're going to be, we got a robot hunting robot. It's the ultimate irony. We built a robot killing robot. Blue screen rounds. Take, um, do you have volatile mix? You do. Okay, you're going to take our one explosive grenade. Take one plasma grenade. And that means knock around Reese gets our other mimic beacon, and we're going to give him venom rounds. You know what? Let's go venom rounds, because they work against biological targets and robots. And then a Mimic Beacon. And this is it, team. This is the final showdown, the final mission, final countdown. Let's do it. Let's go get our heads kicked in. Pete, you should give him an inspirational speech before battle. Um, I mean, I'm not really known for inspiring words or motivational speeches. I'm just going to say, fellas, why don't you go out there and fail better than we expect you to fail? You're going to fail, but you know what? Fail better. We are ready. Can these guys equip heavy weapons like rockets or shred guns? Nope, we can't wear any kind of specialist armor because we're skirmishers. I like seeing Pete do prep work for the final mission. That's usually done off camera. I hate to break it to you, chat, but there's usually no prep work done off camera before a final mission. Usually I just throw a team together and go. The only reason I'm doing prep for this mission is because I expect to lose, and I'd like to lose as shame with minimal amounts of shame. I'd like to lose as shamelessly as possible. The world got its wake up call. Yeah, can we skip this though? Nope. Again, game designers, don't make unskippable cutscenes. Just don't do it as bad. Nobody likes unskippable cutscenes. Raiding the aliens' puckered purple bunghole won't be easy, but, you know, we'll lube you up and send you in. It may not be easy, but nothing worthwhile ever is. If you're going for some alien anal action... You're going to have to work for it, but the reward will be worth the effort. Now plunge into that hole, man. Good luck, Commander. Thanks for the dramatic final scene. Oh, look, Xander Cage is holding his gun high in the air and looking awkward, awkwardly. Man, if only we had a team of Reapers, how much better off we'd be. 
Our Reaper team did surprisingly well on the final mission, actually. I expected the Reapers to struggle, but they had a bunch of guys who had uh, advanced repeaters with Assassinate, Annihilate, and Banish, and they were just murdering the whole route. Yeah, again, Bradford, communications in this room don't work very well because the audio mix is trash. You know, for a second there, I was yawning and I looked at the word spared and it looked in my brain. My brain interpreted that as the ethereal having said your world will be spread and i'm thinking spread eagled that's an unusual thing to say okay let's do this we're gonna play it slow take it easy again chat you gotta remind me we were playing really fast earlier because we forgot to save when we were doing some catch-up but what we need to do now is just slow down there's no time limit on this mission. We've got all the years of our lives to play with here. I go quickly. We can't afford to use any consumables. We need everything we can get for the final room. Literally every asset we have, we got to save it for the final room. Having the aliens stumble into our overwatch here, very helpful. Hey Pete, slow the fuck down. Did you beat Hellblade yet? No, that's still on the agenda of games we want to get back to. Great shot, by the way. Execute him. Or just whiff like a champ. Also acceptable. So we got some Overwatch and all of it missed. I just have to stand here and watch that guy see. All right, Caparzo, it's time to earn your keep here. Take one shot. Farm for the execution. Fail to get it. And then with your zero in, go for the saturation fire. Can you catch both of these guys? Nope. God damn it, Caparzo. I'm still going to saturation fire. See, that's what we're rooting for right there is the saturation execution. That's what we want. We're not going anywhere. We're going to drop you in the dirt, and then the rest of the team is just going to be on Overwatch. And we will let... There's definitely more Berserkers in that pile. It's going to be not a pod of two. They've got friends. We're just going to see... They Okay. Well, I was going to see if maybe we could get them to wander into us, but the answer is no. So everybody reloads, and then we're going to overwatch around the horn. This is proper classic XCOM right here. Overwatch creeping, baby. Overwatch creeping. It feels good to be home. Damn, it feels good to be a creeping. Looks like Berserkers always skip leg day. I think it's whatever pilots of the Andromedon that's probably more prone to skipping leg day. Those guys are literal withered husks. Pete, how can you keep sending the commander's avatar in first? Because unlike our soldiers, commander's avatar, if he takes damage, he heals afterwards. So we should like him to be in the most direst parody. Did I say parody? I was going for, say, peril and dire jeopardy, and for some reason my brain just smashed those two words together, and it's like, it's a parody. A parody of what? Damn, it feels good to be a creep. Eh? If I had known there were only two berserkers, I would have mind-controlled one and used him as a scout. So right side, left side, or center? Let's go right side. Commander's avatar. 
Come in here. This should spawn a pod with almost 100% certainty. Yeah, it definitely did. A gatekeeper and a whole mess of chrysalids. We have two approaches here. We could mind control the gatekeeper. And then just, yeah, okay. The other thing we could do is we could throw the dimensional rift and kill almost instantly all of the chrysalids. I think we should mind control the gatekeeper, though, because they're enormously useful. Yeah, do it. We might be able to get the gatekeeper to make some zombies for us. Or we can just make sure it's fully crowd controlled and shoot it a lot. Now would be an excellent time for some saturation fire. Virgil, I'm looking at you. So if you would come up here and maybe saturate all of these dudes, that'd be great. Oh, he's saturating. Look at the saturation on this fire. That was ammo and a cooldown well spent right there. All right, Mr. Turop, if you would come up here and stand next to your friend Virgil and then just repeat that exact same process. Most of our problems are taken care of. And there we go. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. And that just leaves us with one lonesome little chrysalid standing out here in the open who's about to have a very bad day. Plus Caparzo Parkour. He's actually... Parkour was... I was going to say it was for once useful, but we actually need to parkour because otherwise we don't get a shot. How can we not see him from there? Shit, there are two chrysalids. And you also can't see him, huh? Well, good thing we got this saturation fire ability. We now have one very badly injured chrysalid. That should be all that's left. And our boy Xander Cade should be able to finish him off. Can't miss shot. So far, so good, chat. Team is racking up the kills. We doing good work. So the only person left is just the Iron Giant here. All right, Iron Giant, why don't you come in here? A great distance. Gatekeeper is still mind controlled. All right, we got to keep an eye on this Gatekeeper. I'm debating whether or not to keep it mind controlled or just kill it. We could use it as a scout, but we're way down on, like, all of our cooldowns are burned. I'd really rather take some time to just sort of gather my thoughts. Get the team back together. If we send the gatekeeper out, also, why do you only get one action, gatekeeper? This bad boy's mind controlled for a bit. We can afford to take a little bit of a risk here. Thanks for making sure nobody behind you has any cover, by the way. That's super polite and thoughtful of you. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry about any of your new comrades' needs. Just ignore those. Got a lot of turns on the saturation fire. But again, this is part of our plan. What was the plan, chat? Slow down plan. The slow down plan was the plan. We're sticking to the slow down plan. Gatekeeper still mind controlled. I don't really want to go spawn a pod with the gatekeeper right away. We know there's going to we, we I've done this mission enough times that we kind of know there's going to be a pod in that room. What our best bet might be is to soften up the gatekeeper a little bit. And send him in while he's mind controlled to let the enemy kill him for us. Let's get the team together in a blob. Give give this man a little stool softening. 
You over softened him. You softened him too much. That was that was too much soften. Well, okay. I guess what we'll do now then. Fantastic work, by the way. We wasted an execution roll on that. Better dead than a threat, I guess. There's an old Chinese proverb. Live. Live opponents make enemies, but dead men make only graves. So. Yeah, we're going to be standing ready for a while, actually. So let's just go ahead and get ready to stand ready here for a bit. Oh, good. The AI is going to oblige us by wandering into an Overwatch trap. Perfect. I couldn't have planned that better if I had actually planned it. I didn't. But Four stun lancers? That's a whole pod, huh? This is what you're throwing at me, XCOM? Four stun lancers? This was your big move? They're doing a number on us because of all these deficient attacks and bad overwatch. All right, chat. What's the chance that any one of these guys gets a hit? You think any of them can do it? Big Iron Giant? The Iron... Nope, doesn't count. It was a dodge. For a second, I thought maybe he had what it was going to take, but it turns out the answer is a resounding. He does not have what it takes. Well, that's okay. He doesn't really need much. Commander's Avatar, why don't you shoot that, man? Right. You're not a skirmisher, though. That ended your turn, didn't it? Yeah, that was a very significant mistake. I actually wanted him to dimensional riff these guys to destroy the cover, but I forgot he's not a skirmisher. Shooting ends his turn. Well then, I guess we'll have to do a little bit of justicing. If you wouldn't mind coming over here, please. Hello, sir. Welcome to the party. Is that guy dead? Oh, he straight up killed him. Unexpected. Not unpleasant, but still unexpected. Justice this man. Get in shankened. And then we should have BFG. Can you justice this last man up here? This is going to take a little bit of luck. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we were due for at least one miss. Get a shot at him. Not a great one, but it's worth taking. Since when do you think a 55% shot is worth taking, Pete? Well, since we're going to spend roughly the next five turns just sitting here doing nothing, waiting for cooldowns to refresh. That's when. What's our chance if we justice that, man? It's 2% better. I'm going to take it. And yeah, nobody escapes the wrath of two rop. And Caparzo, you want to just shoot this man? There we go. Slow down, Pete. Okay. I mean, we're we're actually taking a we're being pretty deliberate here. Also, reinitializing weapon is the stupidest way I've ever heard anyone say reloading. We should be relatively clear, although there's a non-zero chance there'll be a pod in that room. Let's advance just a little bit up this right side. Again, this is just this is gonna be a wee tiny little teensy advance. We're just taking it slow and killing some time. We're waiting on cooldowns. Want my saturation fires back. I want my justice back. I want my baby, baby, baby back ribs. I want my baby, baby, baby back ribs as well. Chili's baby back ribs. Yeah, if another pod would wander into our Overwatch, that'd be great. I'm gonna oblige, huh? Okay. 
Okay, so there's a pod somewhere around because we're getting an activation warning on that. That's weird. We shouldn't be. We can't see any of them. But if we cool our heels, maybe we can get them to walk into some Overwatch. We do want to make sure everybody's in cover. I don't want to have a pod wander into us while we're out in the open and have them go full shooty shoot and kill somebody who's just standing out of cover. That would be very bad. Commander's avatar, again, always riding at the forefront of battle because if he takes damage, he can heal. Nothing? Okay, how are we doing on cooldowns? Saturation fire is back. Two turns to justice. If we want to pop a pod this turn, it wouldn't be a bad turn to do. So, Commander's Avatar, you come up here. Well, we activated something. Just as we saw That's a largish pod of melee, man. Flora seems to flourish in close proximity to the psionic fields passing through these systems. Three faceless, three, four berserkers? That's a big-ass pod. So none of these guys can benefit from cover at all. But I think what we're going to do is just mind control this man. You work for me now, sir? And then we should have no real difficulty killing the rest of these dudes. So, good old Mr. Turop, go ahead and take this shot. And then follow it up with a nice little bit of spray and pray. Give him the old saturation, goody. No, we misclicked, though. I wanted to catch those barrels because the barrels might have blown up and also killed the faceless. That was an unfortunate misclick. Is that our Berserker? No, that's a bad guy Berserker. Take him down. And then if you would, you do what your friend should have done last turn and kill these two guys. We're getting a lot of work out of Saturation Fire. get popped one shot one kill true sniper and we hair triggered which we'll use to overwatch is the only thing that's left is one faceless we know everybody who can see him we have one faceless and a mind controlled berserker nope never mind there are two berserkers back there two berserkers one of whom is very angry now uh, Shroom, let's get you up here. I don't want a saturation fire here because we're going to hit our slave boy. I don't want to hit my war boys. He's got to live, die, and live again so that he can ride to Valhalla. Shiny and Chrome. Put you on Overwatch. Tactical analysis is going to take one of your actions away. You're going to come poke at our boy. Now you're just going to walk over and do nothing. Oh, you're going to walk into some Overwatch and die, probably. Almost. Well played, Faceless. Well played. Man, tactical analysis is actually supremely useful. We only have the one action here, so let's hit him with the devastating blow that did literally nothing. Just go ahead and... No, wrong guy. Let's rip that faceless open. So that takes care of this pod, and now we should be basically clear to advance to the friend's apartment. We can say hi to our old friends, Phoebe and Chandler and Ross and Rachel. It'll be just like the good old days in the early 90s where we spent all day not working, living in a lavish 
New York apartment and drinking $12 cups of coffee on our waitress salary. There's an easy explanation for how they could all afford that coffee, though. Coffee house coffee in New York is expensive, but they did have a friend who worked there. I just assumed they were scumbags and didn't pay. Why would you want to kill that beautiful ass? Are you talking about uh, the faceless there? He does love to shake his rump like a rump shaker. We're going to use him as a scout. Non-zero chance if we run him um, too much farther forward, we're going to spawn a pod. We're far enough away, we don't really care if he does. He did not. So we know exactly how far it is before we can safely advance. Our boy has done his scouting homework. That was another thing I was a little bit worried about with skirmishers on this final mission, is that one of their signature abilities is just the fact that they can move really fast. But a lot of this map is very flat, so there's not a lot of places to grapple to. But in the final room, there are plenty of platforms where we can grapple up and get free movement and elevation bonuses. So the final room, that's should be less of a factor. And so far, we've done well enough on the approach that we haven't really needed to use the movement. We haven't needed to grapple. How much longer that Berserker got on that mind control? Like one more turn after this one, I think? It lasts for five. He's going to break free this turn. We should kill him then. I wouldn't mind sending him in... Now, you know what? Come over here and die. You've served your purpose. And now it's time for your purpose to be ended. Shroom? We set you on fire because that meat looks delicious and I like my I like my berserker pan seared. I want to give him a crisp hard sear on the outside to make a crunchy layer that seals in the juice. His juices are fully sealed in, though. He's at max. He's at peak deliciousness. It's under my watch. Watch order confirmed. No trespassers. None to be detection. Want to have all my abilities. This next pod we're going to encounter, there's probably going to be one pod that's like codexes and a gatekeeper, and then another pod that's going to be something, possibly vipers. Actually, it'll probably be like two sectopods and two codexes, and then a gatekeeper and two vipers. That's my guess. Hey, Pete, do you watch Doctor Who? No, I actually dislike Doctor Who a great deal. I do not find it entertaining. I think it's kind of dull. It's very dry and British. Also, as far as enemies go, Daleks are fucking ridiculous. Like, those those should never be the bad guy in anything. They're just goofy. They're not scary, they're just silly. More berserkers, huh? This map is festooned with berserkers. Which is fine, because they have a lot of health, but they're real easy to hit. These guys are probably going to all die to Overwatch. It's going to take a lot of Overwatch to bring them down, but... I'm sorry, Chad. I just can't respect a sci-fi show whose main enemy is a garbage can. And not even a particularly menacing garbage can. Well, we can't miss, so I think we just shelter in place and shoot them twice. You can be as angry as you want back there. I don't care. We're camping for cooldowns back here. I must reload. Everybody else is just going to reload and go back on Overwatch. I'm reloading. Reloading. I am watching. It's under my watch. Attacking on sight. Watch order confirmed. I will watch. 
we're watching very closely. Man, it feels good to be a creeper, though. Taylor Reese, I'm going to have you go very slightly forward. Because I do expect there to be more bad guys up here. Yeah. What is that? Oh, no, Some never mind. Human enclosure? There were always reports of missing civilians years before the first invasion. Could this be them? Maybe they had planned... Lily was really more into Seinfeld than Friends. Testing. This doesn't really have the look of Jerry's apartment from Seinfeld, though. Like, it's all wrong. Mostly because Jerry's apartment in Seinfeld was actually just a single room. There's our sectopods. Oh, sweet fucking god. This is a terrifically horrid pod. Two Andromedons, two Mutons, and a sectopod. This is the worst pod of all time. Well, Commander's Avatar, we're going to need you up here. We're probably going to have to burn one of our precious Mimic Beacons on this turn. That's the only way we get out of this shit alive. So we can hit them all and destroy basically all of their cover. Uh, I would like to Dimensional Rift, though. No, Dimensional Rift, please. Why will you not dimensional rift? Love it when powers work. Oh, so I can only throw it there. All right, sure. That actually did spectacularly poor damage. Well then, I don't suppose we could get any free movement from a grapple? Of course not. Let's run into the most dangerous pod we've encountered in the worst possible location to encounter them. That's perfectly ideal. Are we hitting these guys? Yes. Do it. We could really use some executions here too, Rop. Well, he got the muton. I don't know if one Mimic Beacon is going to be enough. We only have one, and the guy who can throw it is flanked. We have one Muton and two Andromeda. You know what? One Mimic Beacon is not enough, actually. Even if we kill the Sectopod, which in theory we might be able to do, what if we Saturation Fire? Can we hit that Andromedon? And well, we could have, but we missed. This is very bad. Okay, so we're going to have to grapple to get some manner of cover. I was worried that maybe this might spawn another pod, but that's very definitely not going to happen. We could whiplash here as well, but again, I, I definitely don't want to do that. Iron Giant, it would be great if you could get... Nope. Can you get to a place where you could have cover and... Nope. Can you at least see the Sectopod? I mean, that would be something if you could just shoot the Sectopod. Did you parkour? Tell me you parkoured. He parkoured! It actually did something for once, and it's going to let us take that Sectopod down. We're zeroed in. Sectopod is dead. Parkour actually made a difference, chat. And he hair-triggered at the end, too. It's the greatest turn the Iron Giant has ever had. Be on Overwatch. Well, I'm actually comfortable now with just saying to hell with cover. We will throw our Mimic Beacon. We'll have Triple X chuck the Beacon because we're still going to need it. But we can get a lot of mileage here out of probably another Saturation Fire. We can definitely get the Muton. Probably get the Arc. Okay. Perfect. And then we are going to have to use a Mimic Beacon. Yeah. We're too exposed. 
So what we do, we chuck the Mimic Beacon here and see if we can make these guys run into the Purple Slop. I hate to use a consumable, but we do have three Mimic Beacons. I'd love to have been able to keep them for the final rune, but this was a nightmare pod. Andromedons can almost one shot. I mean, oh, we're still getting shot, though. That Muton still has one chance to do something. He went on Overwatch in the slop. Good call, Muton. I think he's dead. That should have killed him. Nope, he's somehow okay. Well, we've got his number. No, not the Andromedon shell. I know you would love to shoot that Andromedon shell, and I would love for you to be able to shoot it, but no. You didn't get the Muton, but you did give his cover, and that helps, because now he's dead. Or very badly injured and not on Overwatch, which is just as good as dead. We also picked up an extra ability point from taking that higher ground shot, chat. I don't know where that Andromedon actually came from. So we have one Andromedon shell. You know what? Can we mind control an Andromedon? We cannot. Damn, that sucks because my Andromedon would actually be very useful to mind control. Oh, it's already a robot. That's why. Never mind. We probably don't need to mind control it. Go ahead and wipe this Muton. Probably could have just as easily killed it with bullets, but... Mind powers are more fun. Why kill it with regular bullets when you can kill it with mind bullets? I mean, regular bullets work too, no doubt. You are a shell, right? That is not a shell. That's a regular Andromedon. Yeah, that's actually a regular Andromedon. We don't want to mess around with that guy. He's quite dangerous. If we can reduce him to Andromedon shell state, we'll be sitting pretty. The non-stop criticals are quite helpful in that respect. Okay, Caparzo, it's all up to you. We need you to be able to kill this guy, but also be far enough away to not get punched by him at the end next turn, because I'm not using another Mimic Beacon. Don't fucking miss. So you're going to be on Overwatch. This guy's going to come running at us. Everybody comes running for the rich taste of XCOM. He should be far enough away we don't really have much to worry about. Between the shots and retributions, we should bring him down. Oh, never mind. He didn't even have enough movement to get close enough to get retributed. You poor son of a bitch. Well, you're dead now. Hey, Pete, what did you have for dinner? Uh, I had macaroni salad. Okay. So let's take a minute to sort of collect ourselves and gather our thoughts, because after Nightmare Pod, I need a minute to decompress here. And also reset some cooldowns, so let's do that. 